My dad was a big, big inspiration. He came over from Vietnam. He came over here with like maybe five dollars in his pocket. He's like my number one role model. Like, I, like when I was little, I didn't like look up to him or anything. I didn't understand like how much work he had put in. But he he goes to garage sales and like buy and like flips it. Like that's how you make money. Like you find something that people need and you sell it to them or provide service. He also. Um, had a few duplexes and was always managing his properties and like I really didn't understand that when I was little. I would just come with him and he'd be fixing up the apartment. Like I was just there hanging out with him. I didn't understand like he was a true like go-getter entrepreneur. Like you gotta find those people and like learn from them. They're gonna teach you the ways of life and how you treat people. It's all about bringing value to people. Like you have to understand that it's not about the money, it's, it's about the experiences and the value you can bring to people. What we do, we surround ourselves with people who are awesome at what they do and can be a combined cash flow. In other words, there are two or three people in this room who said, I gave up because that's what the world gave me. Ironically, you got dudes you roll with like a gang that you think is no big deal. I went to the North, sorry, they're not new. And if you guys actually just worked together to start a business, you'd probably be great anyway. Because who's gonna tell you no? You're the only one who can. No one else is telling 25 year olds that they can't be billionaires now that Facebook did it. Nobody, they're all going, why didn't I figure that out earlier? Immigrants in this country, they're the backbone of it. They're not the problem. They are and have been and will continue to be the solution. You can be anything you want to be. Just assume that it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of time and then more time and more work. And by the way, if you're doing something you love, it's interesting anyway, so who cares? You're getting better and better at it. And all those people that tell you you can't do it, it comes out of jealousy or out of laziness. They don't like hearing that you're going to do it better. That dude back there cleans our windows. You know what else he does? Makes more money than all of you combined. Because he owns a business doing it that has accounts all over the middle of the country. And he's only growing and he knows it. That dude's taking care of his family when he has a family. Because he's got that money. That ain't magic, that's hard work. But smart work too. You guys see what I'm saying? Figure out the ROI. That every hour that you're out there doing something, that it's making you money by making other people more. And people will always want you to be around and they'll always want to invest in your business. Putting pressure on yourself makes you achieve so much more than you ever thought possible. I'm off today early. Uh, my youngest boy's birthday turns four. Pretty excited. Catch us the rest of the week. Excited, man. Have fun. I'm hella pumped up, man. I got a cake from Monica's bun cake. I'm about to snap that. I'm gonna show you all. Ninjago cake. This is dope. Like, you're, we're gonna pull this stuff out of you. And then once we figure that out, that's when we hit them with, let's pull those strings on that heart. Let's get them in the door. 
I've been able to kind of house enough talent in this space to really hit all angles of what it needs, social media, video, branding, business, and mobile applications. So if you can get in a position, will you get that, Danny? If you can get in a position where you step back and you were to say, okay, if I could use a team, what team would I use? I want, make, I want to make sure that Clutch is that team that you use for everything, right? We're really good at doing that kind of stuff, man, and we can save you money on a ton of stuff that you probably haven't saved. For. Spicy, would you like a chicken? We have hot, 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 and reaper. Just hot. Just hot? Okay. And uh, what would you like to drink? Uh, water. Water? Okay. Yeah. All right, it's going to be $12.90 for you today, sir. All right, Visa, make sure you drink. Make sure you take that with you. All right. Thank you very much, sir. But because we're different and we celebrate the fact that we're different, we don't have that problem because yeah. then you just get to be the best of you. Just double down on your strengths instead of, how do I put this? Always double down on your strengths instead of sort of trying to do something else that you can't do well and then get in somebody else's face about what they do. It's like, dude, you don't understand. That, that's somebody else's job that's hard to do. You know? True. Yeah. If you can avoid that, because, you know, you haven't talked a lot. We don't, we don't really know you yet. If you can avoid doing that, you're going to do great no matter where you are. Ima imagine, imagine just one year of, even if it's not just this, but anything that you're working on with all of us together, how much better you will be, bro. We're nailing elevations of where the concrete drive will be so that Zach can design the stringer for the cedar stairs that are going to be happening down there. There will be six steps up. Um, they're a really elegant, long, relaxed tread. He's going to put a cool kind of canted edge on the riser um, and it'll be a, a cedar in contrast to all the the concrete. See, this project won't be done for for several months. I think it'll be done by the summertime. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to be done by uh, the solstice, because that's when the sun, you know, is at its highest, and we want to do some of our concrete painting and staining based on the shadows of this canopy structure mm -hmm. right. and to know where those shadows are on that day uh, will be like a starting off place. We'll actually 
do a paint job and a finish, some finish work that matches those shadows. Oh, wow. And then we'll kind of get that started. I mean, it's going to be a work in progress. We don't want to say, hey, it's done. Right, right. Don't touch it. We want it to be, you know, it's so in it's public space. Evolving. Right. But that's like the logic of how some of the lines will begin. And then uh, we'll see, we'll let it evolve on its own after that. So. So I've got Thomas out here uh, right before I leave. Um, you know, even as I'm leaving the office tonight, it's about seven o'clock because I got to get home because my kids are sick. I've got the entire office still working uh, and they know that I'm about to leave and they're still grinding away. So I just wanted to share that. I know that uh, the appreciation that I have for my team is tremendous. The appreciation that I have for my clients is tremendous. Uh, the building in which we're in uh, is, is, is super awesome but it takes a lot of hard work to be where we're at. We're sharing these moments of, of, of our hustle with anybody who wants to see it. Uh, so just make sure you guys stay tuned. Keep checking out the vlogs and check out the sites. Peace.